Hello, um, welcome to our rather surprising MLP vlog. Today we're talking about a new Question Girl special that aired on Friday that uh, we we didn't know about. And apparently it will potentially meant to be a surprising because apparently we had a tweet. We're going to have five, we're going to come from surprising later. Ooh, and you know, probably can't, that was going to be a Question Girl thing. Go. Well, I should be too get caught following my fault for like not being attention. But well, if I had been more attention, I probably would have known about. Thankfully, I don't know what yesterday, so I could be able to. But I mean, too, um, stuff had going on today. I want to be able to get to it on um, Friday. You, yeah, you know, yesterday I had another thing going on. So I want to get to today, but I had a couple of nights. But yeah, I had a rumbling coming on question. But I figured never a question or special. I figured it'd be later this month or next month or something like that. But. I'm dead, but oh uh, well. Here we are with low culture friendship written by Nick Conkalone. Um, I can get through the well, I'm actually thinking for the question type things or do journal for them because we're not too part of the And by I do VR for the one because why not? Who knows if they'll do more? I think after then the people you know, like from Fine Core probably do more. Although I'd like to see more of our like the free phases last year and something closer to that. But anyway. In a culture of friendship, uh, basically, the public they make at park, they are, like, hang out at, at, and, um, we have, uh, Vignette Valencia, who is basically, who, I can't remember what her role, but she, like, works there, she got a bunch of stuff, and she wants the rainbow to perform there for a thing, for a thing, and, at the same time, she can, like, friend with, you know, rarity to the point that we can object <laughs> like, on the jealous side, you know, because we two are particularly close in this one, I'll get to that. Um, <laughs> and, and basically the whole point of that, you know, we have a bit jealous of, you know, you know, the fact that rarity can have a close for a friend. And also, for, like, yeah, um, got kind of the uh, vignette and looking at kind of a villain that she basically the social media against type person who talk uh, a lot of um slang thing and then basically come in a burst of magic that's not really explained. Um pick her phone which allowed her to basically take pictures of people and put them into basically her phone and and she can replace them with a holographic version of them that she's going to use for purposes essentially. Yeah come on it's both easy and hard to explain because it's relatively simple, but it comes out from like hard to get across. Basically, it has her doing some evil, evil, quote unquote, stuff. I would act very tough. And the other ones are basically, you know, loading around the park and doing their own little minor side story. Um, so, over, so overall, I would say that I did like this one. But I definitely have problems with it, and it's left for a different friendship. In general, I would enjoy it to be done, but, but honestly, I kind of read the filler stuff more than the main stuff. But that stuff I did. First of all, uh, the hair and that I go, wow, a lot of shipping. I know whenever, especially in this show where we have people in the main kicking and dragging a lot, we joke about how much shipping fuel, you know. But in this one, you know, everyone hit the deck, it's shipping fuel. Um, you know. But a lot of it. I mean, heck, even at the end of it, like, we're touching each other, the can like, and they're blushing, and I'm like, it could have made it more obvious if we tried, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, we're Jack, I think we're going to have Jack now from the show, for of, like, hit or miss, but here we're going to all because it, you know, baked off, you know, it's not baked off for a different thing that much, it's more about, you know, just them people, you know, um, you know, about having to bring up that one clean, one dirty, <laughs> you know, you know. And I did like Rudin Navic in general here. Or it gets, uh, you know, and, and, and that's all okay, the main stuff I did like is, hey, come on stuff right now, Jack, and come on, we memory could get, you know, get some fun full of stuff, like we got the you know, thing with, uh, Gunk and Twilight Barkle trying to beat Flynn and Flam uh, game, and get Prague. And that's still pretty funny, and like, a fair few funny moments, um, I do like when Dash and got to the phone, she's like, ducked into a phone. Typical. Like, she's used to it. You know? Um, and, like, I did stuff like that. I enjoyed that stuff. Um, 
Yeah, I'll go. Only one song in this, and it's only at the end. It's like, all right, but it's definitely blending in with the other song. It reminds me of a song of Van Better Ever Free, which I uh, liked a little more. Of course, uh, thinking which I got Better Ever Free uh, recently, um, but I mean a few months ago, and I forgot to mention it. And now, God, I think I opened King Free like last year, around the time last year, and never mentioned it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting close to caught up. I'll oh, pick it, which King Kevin DVD apparently coming out in October. So there you go. Yeah, it's not fun again. <laughs> yeah, couple point. But, um, I did totally plan to do the show for Recon Friendship, or even an effort, fully. I don't know, or, or, or this. I don't know how we're gonna handle that. Um, I do know that for Recon Friendship on their YouTube channel, they do the short and they basically relink on shit, but put them up apart. Yeah, it's apparently extended edition. Extended edition. Yeah, the version split up in the parking longer than the normal version. And apparently get you out of this. As well, so, but I don't think it's done by an awful lot, not mixing anything. And it's still no ten version of Invincible, so boo. Um, <laughs> but that's one stuff I care about. Like, again, the one of the rarity average that stuff becomes more typical, where, you know, average Jack believe that, you know, Rarity friend and got to no good, and we know literally from the opening scene that she isn't a bad guy, so it's like not too much in terms of attention there. I think that kind of a lot. It's not done too bad. It's not a worst example of that, but it did kind of, you know, drag it down for me somewhat. But I think the biggest complaint I would have would, uh, well, again, a time of, well, kind of, uh, stuff getting for the you know, cliche towards the end of the villain. Uh, first of all, took a redemption that is sort of one, but they all give her some deep cat backstory and everything like that. She got to her. At the end, she kind of think, ooh, what can you give him away again? I should have done that. Alright. Kind of similar to what happened with Shimmer at the end of Christian World of Warcraft. Go, it kind of went that shit, but it didn't go 4 4 with it. But I do wish we would start getting more punishment. It's like, at Final Friendship, they're like, no, look at the fur, though. That book Final Friendship is the um, mere magic. Uh, like, we're a really forgiving group. And I'm like, yeah, point out your problems and make them go away. But, um, but yeah, but that's the bottom of course was only her goal from basically, like I said, she was supposed to me against that person, which means a lot of, like, that kind of talks against Dolphy and hashtag, and it's, I don't know, I get what they're going for, and it does tie into a message about how, you know, about how friends are going to put followers. Reminds me of an uh, main king line from the emoji, probably, uh, from the emoji movie. Yeah, my the emotion movie, oh, we great. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I don't want my brain, my back of my brain work a little too in me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, her talk got fairly annoying. Kind of go she and go left her villain. And she's not even like much of a villain. I mean, her whole plan is to cut people into her phone, go she got a got version, you need to do stuff for her. Like, she has to be more antagonist type bully type person. Byron a villain, but uh, still, um, go, I get what they're trying to do for her by fire, it's sort of annoying, you know, and, and again, a lot of it, uh, but yeah, I'm getting, I'm only 20 something, and, you know, and I'm already feeling old, whatever, my stuff could reference to, maybe pick up a show like Yui, that kind of thing, and even Crash Girl kind of kept it okay, but at this point, they went a little overboard, um, uh, by, uh, but, you know, um, by my favorite, I'm not gonna point it, but very gay twist regarding what happened. Vicky, they go kind of phone, but like a twist. And I'm with that, that pretty funny. Like, I didn't quite make it, but it's funny. So, cool, yeah, roller coaster friendship. Um, I like it, but below like, and I don't know what my school rating would be. Like, I like it, but I do kind of prefer the fun, silly stuff that has like Rainbow Dash and Twilight. That sort of stuff for the main story, which then it kind of got less interesting because with Darnie Shane and the villain, I get what they're trying to do with her, and I kind of appreciate it, but it's kind of annoying. Um, you know, kind of, yeah, you kind of go back special, like, mostly, you know, fine, enjoyable, and perfectly fine, it's enjoyable, but we got friendship, even with the flaw, I liked more because I thought the story was more interesting, I thought the villain was more interesting. Again, they're flawed, they don't redemption, don't think of it, but they're stuff like tricky and things like that that are really good. But at this point, it's like, yeah.
Like I mentioned at the point where I think I like that one slightly. Or the Legend of Free, even if I like that one. Well, this one I definitely, uh, I think it's one thing a lot of the suspensory goals when it was done, I can't afterwards, honestly. But, um, but still fine. Um, my brother got to watch it before me and he found it okay. Bless her. Then forgot friendship and I'm inclined to agree. But instead, there's some fun stuff. I just feel like this series works a little better when it, you know, trying to, ah, the special are the cute friends who do slightly bigger things, working with short they do, which are just cute things like that stuff. And I feel like if it's 22 minutes, I feel like, I mean, it'd be kind of more like mirror magic. And I feel like they could have done it in 22 minutes, honestly. You know, I think if there are some filler, and I feel like I might have enjoyed it more. If I didn't have to wait 40 minutes of my time, to have 22. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you from now on, if you want to come longer and short, make it 22 minutes, and do it 40 minutes if you have something bigger, but not something that could fit in the movie. So, that is what I think, but overall, you know, it's fine. You know, there's elements I'm not a little disappointed by. But, um, you know, hey, we still have to kind of finish it at least, so, yeah, we'll get that far, but, you know. But yeah, um, spoke a little more than I did the other video on, but we can find a special color and color things to talk about. Oh yeah, I wish for a villain come by the way. I'm sure it would have been annoying, but it would have been cool to have one. Like, if they can't talk, I'm going to really, really like that song. By the way. So, yeah, that's all about that decay. Um, yeah, I like it mostly for some of the shipping people. It's kind of a humor, but some things like some of the cliche where you can even drag it down along with the villain. So, yeah. <laughs> but they're all alright. It can at least deepen. So, yeah. Um, yeah, not an awful lot to carry. I think it was nice to get some material from um, EQG. Um, yeah. So, yeah, not sure when, probably hopefully in August or, August or September or something, we come back. I feel like we're definitely going to go. They're short, but I don't cover them or even watch them. But, um, no. Well. Yeah, I shall see you for weather next in the LLP landscape. I'll see you then.